Hey everyone, welcome. Today I am resurrecting an old series of mine and it is This or That. I used to do quite a few of these and a lot of the times when the drugstore comes out with new makeup, they come out with kind of similar items. So I used to buy both of them and test them out and then tell you which one should you actually spend your money on. And today I realized, you know what? I have something that I have been using for several months and both of them are quite similar to each other. So today I'm gonna tell you This or That, the Milani Ludicrous Gloss versus the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. So I have all of them. I have two of the Milani ones. I have three of the Maybelline ones and I just wanna go over it and at the end I'll tell you which one I actually prefer. Now let me be clear, I love both of these. I think that both of them are great. If you have the money, if you wanna spend it, get both of them because I think that they're both awesome. But I do have a favorite after using them for a long time and deciding which one is a little bit better than the other. So first up, let's go over the uh, little kind of details of it, I guess, <laughs> the Milani one. Typically where I've seen it is usually about a dollar more than the Maybelline one, but of course it's a drugstore, things go on sale constantly. So for the most part, they're very similar in price. However, the Milani is I believe 0.16 fluid ounces where the Maybelline is 0.18 fluid ounces. So you do get a little bit more in the Maybelline one. Both of them claim to be a plumping lip gloss. Now they're not the kind that are actually gonna like tingle and like make your lips bigger through stimulation. They both just tend to have like a, what they call like a plumping hydrating kind of formula. The Lifter Gloss claims to do it through hyaluronic acid and the Milani one from what I've seen doesn't really say what they use but it seems to just be that the formula gives you the appearance of hydrated, fuller, three-dimensional lips. In terms of the color selection, I do feel like the Milani one is a little bit more of like they have a few nudes, but they have a lot of like kind of pinks, mauves, kind of berry kind of tones. And they tend to have a little bit more pigment in them from what I've seen. Whereas the lifter glosses are a little bit more on the nude side. They do have some that are more of like a pinky, corally type of shades, but even those tend to be a little bit more muted in tone. So it's kind of like, do you want something more dramatic or do you want something a little bit more sheer and nudie? That's just gonna be a personal preference kind of thing. The ones that I have in Milani are She's All That, and semi-charmed. And then in the lifter glosses, I have moon, silk, and topaz. And in both of these, I have kind of different formulas for each one. So the Milani She's All That is a little bit more of just a full on like glittery, shimmery, sheer formula. Whereas semi-charmed has a little bit more pigment to it. It's a little bit more opaque. And in the lifter glosses, Moon and Topaz are both very like kind of shimmery, sheer formulas. Whereas silk has a little bit more pigment to it. And again, it's a little bit less see-through. I do feel like both of these have a very similar amount of wear time. Now the feel of them is where I feel like they differ the most. And that is that the Milani one is a little bit on the sticky side. It's not super, super tacky and sticky like some glosses, but compared to the Lifter Gloss, it is definitely more sticky with the Milani one. Whereas the Lifter Gloss is a much more like just slick kind of, um, pillowy almost kind of formula. Like it just, it feels kind of plush on your lips. Whereas the Milani one definitely has a little stick to it. So this or that, in my opinion, I think that you should go for that. I prefer this one just a little bit more than the Milani ones, specifically because I like the shade range more. I like that they offer a little bit more muted colors because I feel like I could wear more of those colors comfortably versus the Milani ones. But also because of the stickiness factor, this one being a little bit more slick and less um, tacky, I prefer this one. So that's the review guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it helped you make a decision on which one of these you should buy if you're trying to pick between the two of them. If you guys buy groceries, definitely check out our other channel, Five Minute Eats. I will link it in the description box. We review everyday grocery items and tell you thumbs up or thumbs down, would we repurchase them? If you guys like this video while you're watching, definitely give it a like before you go. Drop me a comment down below and if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Bye.